Hey guys, I'm Scott Berry with Roland. I'm here to show you the BK3, our new backing keyboard. As you can tell, the keyboard's actually following everything that I'm playing, and that's how it's set up. I'm gonna show you another style here real quick, and then I'll start explaining how it works. This is actually running an intro. There's four different intros, there's four different variations, four different endings. So we can do a, a multiple uh, two of things, and I'll go through each step as we go. Okay, right now I'm gonna use the one touch feature, which is not only gonna change the variation, it's actually gonna change the sound up top. Now if I go to, to One Touch 2, it's going to change the sound and the variation. Four. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just hit an ending and it will, you know, will uh, go ahead and finish out the song. And that's pretty much it. So basically you have four variations to choose from from every single rhythm and you also have the one touch feature which will change the variation and change the sound that I decided to pick. Total inside the BK3, we have 850 tones, so that's 850 sounds that we can go through. Um, I'll give you an idea real quick of just a single sound or a single tone. This is a great acoustic guitar. I'm actually using the iPad. I'll show that to you guys in a second. And it's just a nice warm sound. Some strings in there. So basically you can play this just as a regular keyboard. You don't have to use the backing stuff, but it is there and that's pretty much what it's for. And I'll tell you, we have a blast with it. I'll give you a couple more examples. Um, I'll pick a couple things here so you can get an idea. We can go from what you heard, it was real nice and mellow, kind of a, a poppy, to hard trance. Get that nice. And within seconds, I can go to something completely different. more dance stuff. So not only that, with all of our rhythms, we've got um, all kinds of different styles. We're on some of the Latin stuff, jazz, jazz blues, traditional world. And we can actually keep all of our user memory right here on our USB. USB will control things like performances or, or uh, how our settings, our customized settings will basically sit all on this. And we can bring up a list and take it through that. So that's pretty much the basics with this. Again, 850 tones, 240 different rhythms. So that's 240 different styles that we can do. We can also import more styles to this. It will also read anything that is an STL file. So things like our older backing keyboards like the, uh, the EO9 and things like that, it will read these. I'll go ahead and talk about the iPad app. And I'll show you how we're set up in here. This is showing all my tones. It's showing all my tones per each category. So it's very easy to search through this and pull them up and go, oh, I want to audition this sound or whatever. The other thing is you've noticed the gold stars on the side. And what's nice about the gold stars on the sides are favorites. The iPad actually holds this memory. It doesn't do anything else. It's just reading directly from the BK. But as far as favorites and things, the star does hold the memory of uh, where our favorites are. So it makes it really easy, especially if we're moving quickly. In our rhythm section, we've got all of our different genres here, our styles, pop, rock, disco, dance, jazz, blues, Latin world one, and traditional world. And it ranges from anything to, as, as I was showing you, hard disco stuff to a, as, as mellow as you want to get. And think it's just fantastic. I can also control, as you saw, start and stop from here, intros and endings, my one-touch features, or just my variations. It's just another bonus thing. 
One other thing I can show you is the way that it reads or cord, uh, recognizes the, is the cord recognition. In the intelligent mode, you can see we have five different we can pull from. In, in intelligent mode, one, one note is going to recognize a major chord. So whichever we do it. If we want a, a, a minor, minor third. If we're looking for a seventh, right underneath it. So that's one way to do it. The other is a pianist mode. The pianist mode will recognize only chords that are three or more notes. So regardless of what I'm touching here that you can see, nothing's changing. Even on, on two notes, it has to be three or more. And when you actually want to play a seventh, you need to play the whole seventh or the eleventh like that. So it will recognize anything. It's great for the piano players that are used to putting full chords down and wanting it to run that way. A lot of the other types of keyboards do not do that. So that's one of the things that's fantastic about this. And we've also got what's called bass inversion. And the difference between the bass inversion and regular uh, with, it, with it on is that when I go to hit, let's say, actually I'm going to do it over here on the keyboard because it'll be a little bit easier. But I'm going to hit a D major. So that's basically D, F sharp, and A in that order. If I reverse the A and put it on the bottom, we wind up with the bass inversion. It will actually recognize it as D major slash A as you can see, and this can be very, very helpful. Again, getting a completely different tone depending on what we want for our song. The performances, like I was talking about with the user memory being on the, uh, the stick, you'll notice that up on the screen you'll see acoustic pop, blues, salsa, tango. These are my performances. This is basically how I've put them in a list. I can start them from here and engage, so I can basically just come in and start to play. I can go right to the next one, either through the keyboard or through this, and just keep a performance going. And so on and so forth. Next. You kind of get the idea how it can work. It, this is a blast. This is a blast at parties. This is a blast at family get-togethers. It's got its own speakers. Even if I plug in a, a separate thing, I can turn the speakers on. It, it's just, it's been just nothing but fantastic to play with and mess with. And uh, it's definitely a, a joy to be with. All right, I'm gonna show you guys our, our new lyrics uh, viewer. This is a free app again at, at the uh, uh, Apple Store. Now let's get going here, here we go. All right, it's green sleeves. And if you notice on the screen, it's actually giving you the heads up on the uh, chords in the yellow and the actual time in the green. One other thing you take note of is that when the melody starts to play on this, and this is a KRA file, by the way, you can see as the melody goes by, it's highlighting the lyrics. Well, I can actually mute that melody if I needed to sing it. There's a track mute button that is directly on the front panel of the BK3. I can bring it back in. This also works with MP3s as a center cancel. So with the center cancel, we can basically get rid of some of the middle vocals, or if, if all of them, depending on it. We can bring that MP3 in right on our USB stick and do the center cancel and take it from there. But that's something that is just absolutely fantastic that we can do this. Uh, great for parties, great for karaoke, and we can even load our own in. There's an actual PDF that we can put in and scroll. So it's just something you ought to definitely check out. If you have any of the BK series or you're picking up a BK3, definitely get these apps. It's fantastic. It just makes the world so much more wonderful, so much more happy. I hope you guys have a great one. Take care.